we know that the best definition of healthy personality is this, is that you have a healthy personality to the degree to which you can get along with the greatest number of different types of people. And you have an unhealthy personality to the degree to which you can get along with very, very few people. And if you take the range of personalities across a spectrum from the most introverted to the most extroverted, we find that the person who has a really healthy personality can get along with a great number of people right across the range. But we also find that you could superimpose another graph on here, and that's the graph of self-esteem. And we find that there is a direct relationship between your level of self-esteem and how well you get along with different people. As a matter of fact, you could draw the graph in such a way so that the higher you go on the graph of self-esteem, the greatest number of people you get along with. And the lower you go on the graph of self-esteem, the fewer the number of people that you get along with. And when you are really down on yourself and you really don't like yourself at all, you can only get along with a very few people and then only people of average personality and temperament. The individual who really likes themselves is the one who has the greatest facility for making friends wherever they go. And we will not buy from people we don't like and we will not be able to sell to people that we don't like. Isn't that true? Have you ever had an experience where somebody come to sell you something and even if you wanted the product and you didn't like the person, you would not buy the product from that person? We know, and just think of your very best customers today, the people who you enjoy selling to and the people who enjoy buying from you the most, you'll find invariably it's the people that you like the best and who like you the best. Isn't that true? So everything that we do to improve our level of self-esteem increases and enhances the quality of our relationship with our customers and increases the amount of money that we earn. The very best salespeople have a natural facility or ability to make friends easily with prospective customers. The very worst salespeople have the most difficult time of all. And the wonderful thing is there's a direct relationship between how much you like yourself and how well you get along with other people. And everything that you do to build up your own self-esteem translates into higher quality relationships, multiplies the friendship factor, and makes you a more successful salesperson. Everything that happens to lower your self-esteem, if your unsuccessful experiences, being ill, or for whatever reason, arguments with your boss or with your, your wife or your husband, will lower your self-esteem and lower your effectiveness. And when you're feeling really negative about yourself, you notice you can't sell at all, can you? You just simply cannot connect with anybody. And of course, if you keep on trying, it just makes you feel worse and worse. And finally, one last point, it is this, is that the key element in selling is enthusiasm. Enthusiasm accounts for 51% or more of all sales closing ability. As a matter of fact, one of the finest definitions of a sale is simply this, it is a transfer of enthusiasm. It is a transfer of your enthusiasm about the product or service into the mind and the heart of the other person. It is a transfer of your emotional commitment and belief in that product into the mind of the other person. And there's a one-to-one -one relationship between how much you like yourself, your self-esteem, and how enthusiastic you are. Can you imagine being enthusiastic and not liking yourself? Can you imagine the two coexisting? So the more you like yourself, the more enthusiastic you are about yourself and about your product, the easier it is for you to sell. So everything that we do to raise our self-esteem increases our ability to sell. And one of the things that we do to raise our self-esteem is that we back our sales efforts with willpower and determination. Now this is very important, it's critical. Because every single time we have what we call a winning experience, where we feel like a winner, every single time we close a sale and we feel like we have won, our self-esteem goes up, our self-concept goes up, and our ability to perform and our effectiveness goes up in every area of our life. The reason why so many people fail in sales is simply this, is they do not stay at it long enough and hard enough to get those first few winning experiences that raise their self-esteem and self-concept and set them off to a successful career in selling. They only stay at it long enough to have their self-concept beaten right into the ground and then they quit. That's why it's so important at the very beginning when you get into selling or at any single stage in selling, you say to yourself that no matter what happens, I will never, never, never give up. I will never stop pushing forward. I will never quit. I will keep on keeping on every single day, every single hour. That nothing is going to make me stop until I am successful. Making that decision alone causes your self-esteem to go up. It gives you a tremendous feeling inside that nothing can stop you. And every single top salesperson that I know, and I work with sales organizations and salespeople that earn as much as half a million dollars a year in commission industries, every single salesperson that I know who is in those levels 
has made the decision very early in their life that they like themselves and they like selling. That they do not fear rejection because they recognize that rejection is not personal. It's just a reaction of someone else. And finally, they've made the decision that they are going to be successful in their field and that nothing is going to stop them until they are. Those three decisions, you make those early in your career and nothing can stop you. Nothing can keep you out of the big money because those three will lead you to getting the skills and the abilities necessary to be successful in selling.